to go? Hello. Indy and I are in our happy place, in the mountains. We're heading off for a hammock camp and we're so glad that you guys have come to join us. It's a beautiful, beautiful autumn evening. It's about 5.15. The sun is about to go down behind the mountain. We don't have very much light left. We're gonna make our way to a spot that I'm hoping is going to be suitable. But hey, every good adventure needs a little bit of unpredictability. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> the forecast for tomorrow is for a deluge of rain first thing in the morning. I've brought with me the makings of French crepes and I can't think of anything better than hanging out with a cup of coffee, some French crepes and the sound of rain on the tarp. I hope that you're looking forward to joining us on this adventure. You can tell it's windy. I can see the camera shifting around. We need to get to camp and go and get set up. I'll catch up with you guys soon. You coming? hoping to find. It's not on the topographical maps but I spotted this little clearing on Google Maps. Good old Google Maps. And I was hoping that it would be here. This is fantastic. I'm so excited. This is going to make a perfect spot. It's kind of like my own little secret spot. <laughs> Hidden away. Just the way I like it. She's so crazy. Brought that ball all the way. Hey. Are you ready? Oh. Slimy. <laughs> okay. Right, I better get serious. I think this is going to be our spot. This is going to be perfect. Even though these trees are a little bit spindly, they're going to be bending a bit. But I think they'll be okay. So I'm going to string my... my um, Hammock up between those two. Hello. Did you want something? What did you want? Or do you want a treat? Or treat? All right. I'll tell you what. Oops. Yeah. Let's see. You can decide which one you want. Oh, what is this? Marine based superfood. Pet treats, whole anchovies. They stink. Which means you're going to love them. Alright, which one do you want? Treat or ball? Treat! Thank you so much. <laughs> over to say thank you to them. Thank you so much to my YouTube super thanks donors and my buy me a coffee donors and members. You guys are amazing. These treats are from you for Indy and she says thank you very much. Are you ready? Look at that face. So my hope with my channel is that I can inspire people to get out and enjoy the outdoors because I just love being outdoors. It's so therapeutic for me. It's just such a fantastic way to decompress from everything else that's going on in life. <laughs> <laughs> and 
and I just want to share that with you guys and I want to inspire you to get out and enjoy the outdoors in whatever way that you enjoy and um, some of you will be seasoned hammock campers and you're probably going to see me doing some stuff that's just really going to grate with you but the truth is I want everybody to feel like the outdoors is their place you don't have to be some pro experienced person with amazing gear to get out and enjoy the outdoors this is a cheap hammock well not necessarily cheap this is a hammock just a backyard hammock but if the outdoors is going to be accessible to people they need to feel like they can get out there and give it a go so that's what I'm doing giving hammock camping a go Are you having fun, Indy? You're playing? Hello, you can play. That's great. It's actually really nice to see her playing. She's a very playful dog, aren't you? And when the weather's nice like this, she can play to her heart's content. Okay, so I have positioned those strops so that there's a branch coming out and the strop sitting there so that it can't slide down. This is the moment of truth. The moment of truth, Indy. Will it break? And I land on my bum. What do you think? Shall I give it a go? That might actually be quite good. I want to be quite close to the ground as I was saying because if Indy's going to be sleeping down here I don't want her to feel like I'm miles away from her. <laughs> Hello. Are you a bit excited by this? Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Okay. Ball, please. Good. than the hammock I want the tarp to be. Hmm. We'll see. put a stick here. <laughs> this stick makes me think of this line from the movie Crocodile Dundee, if any of you are old enough to remember that. 
Actually, I think most of you are. <laughs> My stats tell me how old you are. <laughs> and the line is, that's not a knife, this is a knife. I was thinking, that's not a stick, this is a stick. Uh, the stick is far too big. Might be impressive, but it's too big. Guys, hear him up there? It's a bellbird. Okay, I'll just try and get the wrinkles out of the tarp. How do I get the... No, I've got to take it more that way, don't I? Better. Sometimes I get quite obsessed by it. <laughs> Like it's a real weakness. I, I just have to get the wrinkles out of the tarp. Good enough. Good enough. It's getting late. It's getting late and it's time for dinner. This girl's gonna be hungry. Oh, did you just did you just trip over it again? Are you ready for your dinner? Oh you are, okay. Because we've got to get down to the river and get some water too, don't we? Yes, wet nose. Um hopefully. Hopefully the river's just down there. Mm. It does show on the map that there is a small creek or river, but I can't hear anything, so we're going to have to go on a bit of an adventure. Right, uh, let's put you over here. Okay, sit. Oh, good girl. We'll go and get some water and then we can have dinner. What's this game called, Indy? Is it called Ball Rolls Down Into the Water? Can we go and get it? Such a 
cute little stream. Um, it was clean when I first got here, but <laughs> not since Indy's been playing. <laughs> She's having so much fun. <laughs> she plays this game at home as well because we have a river near us and she she drops her ball at the top of the top of the bank and then it rolls down into the river and then she dives into the river, retrieves her ball, brings it back up again, drops it at my feet at the top of the river bank. It rolls back down and she plays on and on. I don't even really need to do anything. <laughs> All right, we better get back to camp and go and make some dinner. Always lies in the middle of my mat, even when I've set hers out. Oh well, sharing is caring. Hey, look at what I just found. Oh, I just found a liquid refreshment, that's literally what it's called. New Zealand IPA Garage Project. So Garage Project are a brewing company in Wellington. Ooh, which is our capital city. Wellington's on the North Island, the bottom of the North Island, and we're in the South Island. Cheers, everybody. It's so good to be out here. It's just fantastic. I'm going to drink and sit up. So this is called the Zero Mattress RO5 by Flextail. RO5 because it's got an R rating of 5. Oh, Papa, you're going to be so cute. Good. Sit. Good girl. Look at that. You've got your own puffer jacket, haven't you? underneath the hammock and I suppose that's just insulation and I don't have one of those so I've just bought this little down blanket 
And what I'm planning on doing is clipping it underneath. Funny girl. Quite funny girl. No, not, not this way, this way. Just when I was calling you a funny girl. Just sitting out there all on her all on lonesome. And you've got this lovely mat in this snuggly spot. So this little pot and pan set is new to me and um, <laughs> I kind of had a little bit of a fight with it on my last camp called it a bit dicky just because I was trying to figure out how to get the lid on and off without burning myself but I really want to persist because I really like it it's really lightweight and I love the way that there's a frying pan and a pot and a plate which is pretty much a bowl as well it's called the frost Set, and it's from um, Fire Maple. My treat, isn't it, Andy? You have your, you had your anchovies. These guys brought this for me. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's symbolic, really, isn't it? But I like to buy myself and Andy a little treat from you guys because on buy me a coffee, that's what we say that you're buying treats for us. I call them camping treats because in reality. I'm not going to spend all of my money on treats. It's lovely to have a little something that I normally wouldn't. So thank you so much. The money really goes to all of this. It goes to buying, even if it is from a thrift store, <laughs> this lovely coat for Indy. It goes to improving my gear, buying new things. I'm still um, saving up for a new pair of boots. I'd like to get some waterproof socks. Oh, there's so many things. I really, my pole is, I, I'm, it's about to break. It is, it's about to break. My gaiters are no longer waterproof. <laughs> there's all these things, there's a list of things. And thank you so much to those people who um, contribute a little bit of a donation to the channel because it really goes a long way. It's, it's so appreciated, so thank you so much. And it's not just the people who donate, it's, it's you guys who watch the videos. Um, it's liking and sharing them, leaving comments, all of that makes a difference. So thank you so, so very much. She's, you can't really see her. She's back to just lying on the ground. The 
ground is lovely and dry, which is quite unusual for our camps. It's not going to be dry in the morning. <laughs> Hello. Hello, gorgeous. You really want to go to bed, don't you? I tell you what, why don't I get packed up while I'm having my hot chocolate? You'll get your sleeping bag out. Does that sound like a good idea? Mm. Oh, you're so precious. dog in a sleeping bag have you ever seen anything so funny and cute well, you are adorable aren't you oh, you're so cute It's really quite protective here. The noise, I don't know if it pick, gets picked up on the, um, through the microphone, because there's a wind buff on it. But you can hear this, this almighty roaring of the wind outside of this little protected circle that we're in. We do get gusts of wind every now and then, but I'm not getting like massive flapping of the tarp or anything like that which we would get if we were out there so this is such a good spot I feel so safe and protected I've pinned the tarp down at the back which has brought it really close to the um, hammock but once I get in it that's going to lower right down and I think it'll be absolutely fine I'm not going to feel claustrophobic so the only thing left to do is brush my teeth and um, I'm going to jump into bed. Well, I am very, very snug. It's so lovely because the open side of the tarp 
is facing out to the moon. It's really, really pretty. It's a full moon. It's gorgeous. This is really, really cool. Really, really cool. Now, as long as no possums come along, I think I'm going to be so happy. into the rain. Come out. <laughs> 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 
Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Indy. <laughs> Hello. Let's bring this in out of the rain. Hello, beautiful. Hello, beautiful girl. How's your sleep? Oh. Do you think you might climb in here? I don't think so. So here. Yeah. <laughs> you can't climb in here. You can't climb in here. <laughs> oh, oh, you're climbing in. Are you climbing in? I, I don't think that's a good idea. Are you pushing the sleeping bag out into the rain again? Ooh. Is it time for me to get up? You think so. Crazy morning. That thunder and lightning was incredible. But Indy and I were super su snugly under here. As you can see, I brought the front of the tarp down because it was raining in here last night. But with these sides down, we were really dry. Hey, weren't we? Somebody wants her breakfast. Is that right? Ooh, breakfast time. All right then. One, two, three, out. Crates time. Yay.
Well, I was hoping to be able to sit and have my coffee and crepes listening to the rain falling on the tarp. I have got the rain falling on the tarp, even though it's light, but the sun is actually shining as well. So it's beautiful because I can see the light droplets of rain and then the sun shining off all the grass. It's absolutely gorgeous. And even though I left my coffee at home, I'll treat myself to a coffee on my way home. Speaking of which, after breakfast I'm going to need to get packed up. Hopefully we'll have a dry walk out. And um, I'll show you a little bit of the view on the walk out. Thanks for joining me, you guys.